Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we go over my new favorite PvP weapon and why changes in Season of the Dawn have led to it replacing Recluse as my go-to and competitive. Again, if you find value in my videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I really appreciate it. So with Season of the Dawn, sidearms specifically have been brought up to match a lot of guns. This is actually great because this is more like Destiny 1. In Destiny 1, I actually used to rock a lot of scout rifles and sidearms to kind of finish things off. So I really love that combo and it's something that's been missing from Destiny 2. Again, it had been kind of replaced by SMGs, but sidearms, like again, I'd kind of miss those uh, for me personally. The change specifically is that target acquisition has been improved for sidearms. And what does this mean exactly? Well, sidearms have a lot of shots that you have to be very precise in how you hit them so that you can actually take an enemy out. What this allows for you, since target acquisition has improved, you can get a lot more shots at that hit, potentially at crits at medium range, which will allow you in many chases to outshoot SMGs, but also depending on your range and where you're at, and if you're backpedaling, it can also allow you to take shotgunners out, which is, which is really useful. It gives you another weapon that can combat different combatants. Again, where are the pros of sidearms? Again, they're fast firing and they're very forgiving, especially for someone me that plays Hunter primarily, even though I play all classes. It allows you, if I make a mistake, I can make up for it by landing other shots. Where are the cons of sidearms? Sidearms are low range. Again, that's what the target acquisition improvements have allowed. And then stability can, it depends on the specific sidearm. And of course that can also be aided depending on the roles you get. And so the specific that I'm talking about is Last Hope. Last Hope is something I used a lot in, in the year one. Something I hadn't used as much recently, but again, with these improvements. The other thing that happened in Season of Dawn is random rolls were introduced for, uh, for Last Hope, which allows you to have a lot more options and a lot more things that can tailor to your uh, style of play, whether it's in PvP or PvE. Let's talk more about Last Hope. So Last Hope is, a, is basically an adaptive frame weapon. That means that it's a 490 rounds per minute and three burst. Again, this is very forgiving, especially, like I said earlier, if you play someone who moves around a lot in PvP. Also, with the improved target acquisition, that helps out a great deal. This weapon also has great aim assistance and almost vertical recoil and has pretty good stability as well. So let's now talk about how you can get the weapon. You can get this weapon through a variety of sources. You can get it from Failsafe through leveling her up. You can also get this from Banshee. So a lot of you, if you're sitting on shards this might be a good way to spend those and get a weapon that you want and you can also get this from cryptarch drops some of the potential roles that you can have um, i won't go into everything i'll kind of show it on the screen what your potential roles are but the key ones are going to be in one slot you're going to have probably either range finder or freeding frenzy specifically for pvp because that's what this video is aimed at in the other slot you're probably talking about multi-kill clip kill clip rampage tap the trigger zen moment so obviously range finder in the one slot gives you additional range. Feeding frenzy allows you to reload the weapon faster to, when you once you get kills. Multi-kill clip and kill clip are variants of as you get kills and rampage as well. You'll get additional bonuses to damage. And then tap the trigger and zen moment are very similar. Tap the trigger is more as you're initially firing the weapon, it'll have a boost of stability. Zen moment is as you do damage it will get a boost of stability. So again, these are all great perks. And the th great thing about this now with the new system where it allow you to do random rolls for your last hope, you'll be able to kind of tailor this based on kind of grinding through and getting the weapon that you want because your playstyle may be different than mine. So my role is tap the trigger, range finder with a range masterwork. And I'll tell you how this kind of goes in my playstyle. Again, you can see that as you're, you're watching the gameplay that's progressing. Tap the trigger is about when you first shoot getting a lot of stability. This weapon already has a good deal of stability. It's very vertical. But what this allows you to do is that the purpose for this weapon is typically you have something that's a little bit more powerful that's in your primary, a scout rifle or something that plays to your playstyle, something that's probably a little bit longer range. This weapon is when people move in on you or you're moving in on people and you need something that can kind of either A, bail you out because you're in trouble or B, you want to be really aggressive and get in someone's face. So when you do that, this allows you to, to basically get very stable, be able to land those shots and get that kill that you're looking for. In competitive, this is particularly useful because again, that's what you're trying to do. It's all about getting kills and not dying. So anytime you can get a kill quickly, it's useful for your entire team. And that's where I think something like this is probably more useful than your rampage, your multi-kill clip or your kill clip. Again, those are useful perks. But in competitive, you're not getting as many kills. So that's why I think it's more useful. 
Um, Rangefinder obviously allows you in those in those times where you're trying to either backpedal and take someone out, or you're trying to maybe take someone out medium range, maybe take out an SMG or shotgun. It gives you that little extra boost. And then with range masterwork, I can hit a lot of shots from longer away because again, it's not just the range that you're getting. It's also the target acquisition because those two come together to be able to get crits more easily and to do more damage. So again, I, it's a great weapon and it's been working really well for me in PvP. So that's it, guys. Uh, like I said, I wanted to kind of share this with you guys. I've seen a lot of videos out there about different roles. Hadn't really seen this particular role talked about a whole lot, but it's been a monster for me as I've been trying to grind out uh, solo comp this season. It's really been helpful. I've noticed a big difference in my gameplay. I'm probably a medium grade uh, crystal player. I'm not the worst player, I'm not the best player, but I can kind of hold my own. With this weapon, I've been able to do a lot better uh, this season, and it's it's been a really a lot of fun. Like I said, it reminds me more of what my play style has been, was in Destiny 1, and it's allowed me to be a lot more aggressive, which feeds into a lot of the Hunter builds I've been doing this season. If you guys have seen previous videos, I had kind of a video around PvE where you can stay invisible forever. Again, that was more of a passive video, but I've also been recently talking about how in PvP, there are a lot of different options and things where you can be a lot more aggressive. Again, that's because a lot of the changes that happened in Season of the Dawn. So again, it's been a lot of fun. I think those things in tandem can really, again, if you're playing a hunter, can be really helpful. But even when you're not playing a hunter, I've taken this on my Titan. I've been very successful and, co and competitive also. So again, I think it can fit any play style. That's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or would like to talk about in, in the comments about different roles you have, maybe there's something you think would be better with a gun or maybe there's better guns that I haven't looked at. I could always make a video about that, kind of talk through that. Again, I make these videos so we can have discussions and, you know, make everyone better. That's the purpose of the channel. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. It really helps me out. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.